Amen. Amen. So today I want to talk about in the English term it is called skin in the game. 今天我要跟你分享一个主题，就是呢，就是说是攻占这个风险。In other words, like it costs you something. 就就就就是说，它会是使到你需要付出一些的代价。This is not a message about offering again. Don't worry, but this is about how we must be involved in the game of life. 就是说，这个是讲到如何，就是说你在生命里面呢，你要付出的，在你的生命里面。I want you from today onwards to look at your life as a game. 我要你从今天开始，你对看待你的身体好像如场游戏一样。We win sometimes, we lose sometimes. We, you know, it treated as a game. 就是说，有时你会胜利，有时你会失败，你要当做这是游戏。So many people they are so serious about life that they are more serious than God. 就是说，有些人对生命十分是太严肃， Hello. 太严肃了，比对上帝还要严肃。God made us to laugh. That means He Himself know how to laugh. 上帝使让我们能够懂得笑，当然他也他也知道怎么笑。God made us to smile. That means He Himself smile. 他上帝使让我们能够微笑，他自己也本身也能够微笑。I want you to treat life like a game. 我要你对待生命就好像一场游戏一样。Of course, there are serious moments. We all know that. 当然，有一些时候是严肃的时刻。But if you treat life as a game， 如果你对待生命就好像游戏一样的时候 ，If your marriage is enjoyable， you play in your marriage， you play and laugh with each other。If you if you make it a game， 就好像在你的婚姻里面，你享受你的婚姻，你对婚姻是好像一种游戏，你享受在当中。You know when my grandchildren come over， no serious matters unless if they have to sit down and eat， then I'm very serious， they must eat well。就是说，就好像我的孙子一样，当他们来到的时候，没有什么其他更严肃的事情，除了吃饭。Otherwise, everything we do, it's a game. 除了这以外呢，全部所做的、所制造、所们所玩的，都是一场的游戏。Some of us have forgotten how to play. 有一些人甚至不忘记了如何去玩这个游戏。Yeah. How many of you, when your children were small or when you were small, you used to play card games, la, Monopoly, la, or you know? Marbles, lah, play with kites. You know, how many of you have done that at one time, or you can't remember? 有多少人就说你还记得在你小的时候，你有玩风筝啊，有玩这种卡的这种这样的游戏呢 ？Five. Then we stop playing. 然后我们长大了之后，我们就停止在玩了。And you became tired and old and grouchy. 叫我们就变成是很老，就是很疲累了。So now maybe you're just playing video game. 这可能我们现在玩的只是是一些在在这个电玩。But I want you to know that this term skin in the game. 我要你知道这一个字眼就是攻单风，就是呃，就是攻单这个风险的这个字眼。Means to be involved in the game. 也就是说，你一定要参与在这个游戏里面。It was made popular this term skin in the game by Warren Buffett. 这一个的字是由这一个的股神 Warren Buffett 所创造的。Warren Buffett for many years, he's 89 years old now, but for many years he was the richest man in the world, 900 billion. That's what he's worth. 就这样，这个 Warren Buffett 他是一个很有钱的，他的身家差不多有九十亿的身家。Now he is the third richest man in the world. The、uh, second one is Bill Gates, and the first one is Jeff Bezos. 就是说，是他是第三个最有钱人，第二个就是指我们这个 Bill Gates， 第一个就是 Amazon 的创办人。Warren Buffett made this term skin in the game. Warren Buffett 就是说，他就算发明了这个词眼，攻，就是说这一个的风，这个风险攻。How he became a billionaire? 他如何成为一个百万富翁 ？Was he would take his own money? 就是他拿自己的钱 ，and he would invest it in other people's business, small business. But he would put his own money in other people's business. 也就是他把那些钱投资在别人的一些的小生意上。He would finance their business. 他就会提供这个财务上的帮助。And because his money is involved in other people's business, he also help that business to prosper. When their business prosper, he prosper. 就是说，他既既然他的钱是放在这个生意里面，他也是。会帮助这个生意成长起来。当他生意成长，他就会成长，就有钱了。Do you understand? 你明白吗 ？He invests in other people's business. 
It's called skin in the game. It cost me something. When I put my money into somebody else's business or somebody else's life, I have a stake. In other words, I have a responsibility in that person's life. That means you are showing that you have confidence in that business or that person's life. So when he began to operate with that kind of an idea, skin in the game, it cost me something. That's how he became the richest man in the world. Even though he owned the company, but because he invests his own money back in the company, people say, therefore, he has confidence in that company that it will succeed. And so that's no accident he became the richest man in the world for many, many years. You can Google and find out who Warren Buffett is. He used to give 10% when he made his money. Then 30%. Today he gives 99% of what he gets. He lives on 1%. He believes in the skin in the game. Now, in our marriages, if you don't have skin in the game in your marriage, it is not going to be a great marriage, it's not going to be a great life. You cannot say 50% I can give you, another 50% I cannot give you, 50%, 50%, 100%, no, 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 100%, 100%. Amen. In any relationship, okay, in anything that we do in life, if we want to see success in what we are investing our time and our effort, you cannot say, I stand aside and let other people have skin in the game. I must have my skin in this game. That's how many marriages are prospering. Many people who are business people are prospering. It costs them something. It's painful. That's how many churches are prospering and growing forward. Because people have skin in the game. Do you understand what I'm saying? Many of the songs that we sing in church. Like recently we sang that song by Sinesh. Is that what the name is? Sinesh. I know, what, how does it say? I know who I am. How many of you like that song? Yeah, fantastic song. Simple words. More than a hundred million viewers have watched her African lady beats Hillsong, already beat Hillsong. More than a hundred million viewers. All right? And she has written other songs. People who write songs that you and I sing, you think they're sleeping in the house and then when they feel like writing a song, they write. Do you think that's how they wrote those songs and became millions and millions of viewers? Yeah. We enjoy the songs. Millions of people enjoy singing the worship songs of C3 song, Hill song, Sanesh, 
we enjoy it. Praise God. Yeah. But how do you think they wrote the song? Sleepless nights. Sweat and tears. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of giving up their pleasure time and working hard to make those songs that we sing. Yeah. We all want to hold the mic and sing. Somebody paid the price, somebody had skin in the game. You guys can write songs because the, the very you look at a song. I know who God says I am, where He says I'm at. Simple songs, you guys can just write it out, and sing, but it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So you see, actually, we can write these songs because in the game. Life is a game. And if you want to enjoy your life, Warren Buffett said you must have skin in the game. Warren Buffett said you must have skin in the game. You know, our forefathers, our ancestors, you know, our ancestors, it's not China, India. Of course, we thank God for the natural ancestors we have. When I went to India, they showed me my family history. Wow, the Ramaya name, the family history, the Pillay. My name is Pillay, Ramaya Pillay. Wow, very, very powerful people in India. But do you think I am proud of my natural ancestry? My great great grandfather was a, like a, a big well known hunter and a money lender, very wealthy man, Mr. Pillay. But I tell you who our real ancestors are. Two thousand years ago, they gave us our Bible. They died for the sake of Jesus Christ. They were thrown in the arena. And they were killed by wild animals. That's your ancestor. They gave us our faith in Jesus Christ. They died so we could live. Today we sit in our air-conditioned homes and read our Bibles. That's the Bible they gave us by giving their lives. That's your ancestor. So you must kiss your Bible. <laughs> you should warn your Bible. Some of you, your Bible is here. <laughs> in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 28. This is Paul writing. Because there were other people who were trying to discredit Paul's work and his churches. This was just the beginning of the start of the church. So whatever Paul had built, these people were going in to discredit who Paul was. Some of them call themselves apostles, pastors, preachers, and teachers. So Paul wrote this to the Corinthian Christian. He says, Are they ministers of Christ? So am I. Are they servants of Christ? I am a better one, he says. I'm talking like a madman, he said. Because people were discrediting him, so he has to give an answer. 
uh, uh, he has to give a rebuttal. Because people are afraid of his attack. He has to come to the defense. 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 So many people can call themselves pastor. Many people can call themselves prophet, apostle. 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 Far more imprisonment. 就是我比他们下监牢更多 Countless beatings. 受鞭打的是过重的 Many times near death. 冒死是屡次有的 Five times I received the whip from the Jews. 就是被犹太人鞭打五次 You know the Jewish whip is forty lashes. It's called the Jewish whip is forty lashes. 这一个犹太的啊，这这。这个的鞭子，它有四十个鞭子的。Five times he said at the hands of the Jews, I received forty lashes less one. That means thirty-nine lashes. 就说被犹太人鞭打五次，每四十下就减去一次。Three times I was beaten with rods. 所以我被棍打了三次。Once I was stoned. 有一次被石头打了。When he said stone, he wasn't talking about he got high on some drugs or something. I mean, they literally took stones and threw at him to kill him. Three times I was shipwrecked. Just 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 three times I was shipwrecked. In danger from Gentiles. Why bang run the waves? In danger in city. 城里的危险 Danger in the wilderness. 旷野的危险 Danger at sea. 海中的危险 Danger from false brothers. 假弟兄的危险 In toil and hardship. 就是说受劳碌受困苦 Through many sleepless nights. 多次不能够睡 In hunger and thirst. 又饥又渴 Often without food, 多次不得食 in cold and exposure, 受寒冷，赤身露体 and apart from all these things, 除了这些外面的事以外 the daily pressure was put on me for my on my anxiety because I was anxious for the churches. 还有为众教会挂心的事，天天压在我的身上 Anyone been through any danger because since you became a Christian? Can I see your hand? What danger you went through, Somi? Simply what marrying TJ is it? You say you 经历过什么？好像我们说明这个危险就是这样的。Anyone went through any kind of danger because you went to preach for Jesus Christ? You 为了耶稣传福音的缘故，你有经历过什么危险吗 ？I've not been in any danger. Only one time I remember many years ago. I have experienced it once. I remember many years ago. When my two children were, when Debbie was born, I think Anna was also born. My two children. So, my two daughters, that is Debbie and Anna, are born after they were born. Pastor Stella and I were pastoring a church in Elostar. So, I and Pastor Stella were pastoring a church in Elostar. So, I and Pastor Stella were pastoring a church in Elostar. So, I and Pastor Stella were pastoring a church in Elostar. So, I and Pastor Stella were pastoring a church in Elostar. And I would go there and preach the gospel to a group of teachers, and then it began to grow. He said, "I was there, and I was just like a group of teachers preaching the gospel. There, they were just growing." I was very brave. I still am very brave, but I was very, very crazy those days. For me, I was very, very brave and very crazy. I began to take a hall and began to show Christian movies. The CID of that town, Chinese guy, he came into the meeting. So, so, 有一个有一个的这个的警察，他就来到这个的聚会当中。He grabbed me by the hand. He said, "Who gave you a right? This is my town. Why are you coming into my town? Small town, you know, sick. The name also is sick." 啊，就是说我，就是他问我，有什么人给你这个权利，在我的这个市政里面放这些电影呢 ？Took me into his car. 
pulled out his gun, drove me to the police station. And he wanted to keep me in the I, those days, no handphone, cannot call my wife late in the night. Somehow don't know how, but the main boss called up the police station. And he questioned this police guy, this CID. Why have you arrested this pastor, this preacher? What crime? What charges? He said, you make sure tomorrow you go and help him put up the projector and show the movie for him. One night I was going to come back from that same place in sick. I always park my car near my church member's home. People came to my car and they punctured my car with an ice pick, all four tires, so I could not go home. Stella didn't know where I was, dead or alive. And they say, next time we will puncture your stomach. Those are the few times I can remember. Nothing, nothing compared to Paul's skin in the game. People have had some skin in the game of Christianity in giving us the freedom to worship God. You may be at the game. You may know about the game. You can even study about the game, how to be a pastor, how to be a prophet. You can study, you can learn. You can even be an expert in Christianity. You may even be a great commentator. Why this, why that, you know, commentator. You may have been in the game previously. Now you are retired. You are sitting back. But if you are not in the game, you cannot say you have skin in the game. Now let me say outright, first of all, everybody please understand what I'm saying. I am not judging you if you don't have any skin in the game. That is not my intention. People who are not in the skin of the in the game, not don't have skin in the game, who are not involved in something that God has told them, I'm not saying you're a bad person or you're a bad Christian. There may be many reasons why some people don't want to be involved in the things of God. Granted, I get it. We are not here to condemn anybody or to judge anybody. Maybe you got hurt. Maybe the game was too hard and you expected other Christians to come and support you in your ministry, but you were left alone and so you got tired and you got hurt and you got burned out. I know that happens. But it is still early. You still have time. But the clock is ticking. The clock and life and God doesn't wait for anybody. So even though you may be out of the game for a while, I want you to get back into it as soon as possible. There is a clear difference between being in the game and being a commentator. Yeah. Every church goes through some trial and some test. Every church in the world. But there's a great difference between being in the game than being a commentator. 
。如果玩这个游戏，如果合作只是作为一个评论员罢了。I thank God that we all get up every morning. Praise the Lord. 我们感谢主，我们每一天早上都能够起身。I tell you, my wife's alarm clock is the loudest alarm clock in the whole world. I haven't heard anybody's alarm. Bang! She doesn't have to put it on so loud. You know, I don't know why, but I get up before the alarm clock rings because the sun is already up. So my wife's alarm clock is the loudest alarm clock in the whole world. I don't know why we call it an alarm clock. No wonder we get up like that. It's an alarm. It's an alarm. I don't know why we call it an alarm clock. No wonder we get up like that. It's an alarm. It should be an opportunity clock or something like that. 其实我不明白为什么这个闹钟要叫一个闹，就好像使到人好像一些一下子很惊讶起来。But thank God we all get to get up every morning. Amen. 我们感谢主，我们每天都能够起身。Imagine somebody have to wake you up and you cannot get up. 当然，如果等到一天有人要叫你起身，你不能够起身的时候 ，God gives us a brand new day every day. We wake up together, brothers and sisters. 上帝给过我们每一天都是新的日子。We get up to go to work. 我们起身到去工作。We get up to come to church. 我们起身就来到教会。You are still in the game. 你仍然还是在这个游戏里面。You still have got a life to live. 你还是仍然有你的生命。So don't waste time being an armchair critic, sitting on the chair and criticizing other people. You have got no skin in the game. 不要坐在椅子那边，只是做一个夸夸其谈的一个人。不要只是去批评别人所做的。So I want to encourage you today. 今天我要鼓励你。You may have been hurt. 你可能受过伤害。You may be sitting down on the bench. Football games are like that. You see the best players; they get injured in the game. And they have to sit on the bench. They have to rest. 就是说，可能你要像玩足球一样，你需要坐在那个的木椅上，在那边等待。可能你受伤了。They have to be healed. 他们需要得到医治。The best doctors are taking care of them. 就是说，有最好的医生在照顾着他们。Even though they want to get back the game, but they are wounded. 就是说，虽然那些足球员很想回去打球，可是他们身上有这个伤。But they don't sit there forever. They will get well, and they have to get into the game. When they are good, they have to continue to play this game. If you want your marriage and your home to really grow and be blessed by God, you have to have skin in the game. Of course, if you want to continue to have a good marriage and a good family relationship, you need to share this risk. You are still alive. 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 How many of you watch some kind of game? Football, tennis, basketball. Can I see your hand? You 多少人你喜欢看这些打球的 ？And while you are still alive, 当你还生存着的时候 ，you are still in the game. 你还是在这个游戏里面。I want to say to some of you today. 我要跟对你们一些人讲 ，you have your game to play. 你有你的游戏，你需要去玩。You cannot be sitting on the bench all your life. Today, I want to challenge you in Jesus' name. Today, 奉耶稣的名，我要挑战你。The clock is ticking. 那个时间一直在跑着。Time is passing by real fast. Whether you're young, whether you're old, it is no respect to a person. Tick tock, tick tock. Your clock is ticking. 就是说，无论你是年轻的还是年长的，那个时间是过得非常的快。If you want to stand before God one day without shame. You have to get back into the game. 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 You 有任何人在这里，今天你可能有受过伤害，有受到就是说受到打击吗 ？You are sitting on the side bench. 你是坐在这个旁边的木凳上。You have been hurt. 你可能被伤害。You must get over it. 你一定要胜过它。You must get over it. 你一定要胜过它。We have some losses. 我们有输过。We have some disappointment. We have some hurt. Everybody on this planet has some hurt. 每一个人在这个地球上都有受过伤害。You have some failures. 你有失败过。God doesn't condemn you. He likes you. 上帝爱我们。上帝没有去审判我们。God will never judge you. 上帝不会去审判我们。Because two thousand years ago on the cross, Jesus was judged. 因为在两千年前，耶稣已经被。Don't ever say I think God is punishing me. God never punishes you. Remember that. Don't forget this. 就是说，你要记得，上帝就是说没有去来到惩罚我们。Because two thousand years ago, Jesus was punished for us. No need for God to punish you anymore. 
因为在两千年前，耶稣已经为我们的罪被审判，在这个十字架上。Now there are consequences. There are consequences when we do things that are wrong, but that's not God punishing you. 就当然，我们做错了事情之后，我们会有一些的后果，那些不是上帝对我们的惩罚。God doesn't punish His children. 上帝不会惩罚他的孩子。He corrects us. 他会纠正我们。He disciplines to educate us. 所以他会教导，会纠正我们。Because he knows one day we're going to rule and reign. That's what the Bible says. We're going to rule and reign with Jesus. 所以他有一天我们会和耶稣一起来到新起来。So he doesn't want any spoiled children. 他不要一些坏孩子。Sometimes our I'm not condemning the younger people. Even our older people behave like that. 有时候不单只是年轻的人，有时候我们年老的、年长的也会这样。You know, we have a spirit of entitlement. I'm entitled. This must come to me. It belongs. Right. 我们会有一种的属灵的想法，就是这个我们是应该是我们的。Let me tell you, life will not treat you nicely. Life will not treat you with entitlement. 就说生命不会说，不会给你说，你应该有的，他会将会给你。God doesn't owe you anything. God does listen. God doesn't owe you anything. God doesn't owe you anything. We owe God our life. 而是我们欠上帝是我们的生命。We owe God our very best, not our second best. 我们欠上帝的是我们最好，而不是次等的。Amen. Amen. Sometimes God knows we tremble, we stumble, we fall, we bruise ourselves, we hurt. It's okay. 就是上帝明白了，有时我们跌倒，有时我们会受伤，不过那事是好的。It's all good， 是好的。No problem， 没有问题。But the clock is ticking， 可是那个钟一直在跑。You cannot sit there and make excuses。你不可以坐在那边找这个借口。The clock is ticking even for you。那一个钟为了你的时间也是在跑。So rise up。所以你要站起来。Get involved。是说，在这个游戏当中 ，get back in the game， 在这个游戏里面 ，have some skin in the game， 来到分享这个的风险 ，it will cost you， 有时要付代价 ，it will take a toll， 它这个是可有时会痛 ，but at least you are in the game， 可是至少你在这个游戏里面 ，at least you are still in the game， 至少你还在这个游戏里面 ，amen，amen，so let's stand together， 我们一起站起来 ，we're going to worship the Lord in that song New Wine。Hallelujah. Amen. Do you receive the word today? You see, you 领受到上帝的话语吗 ？What is your answer to God? He is calling you to get back into the game. What is your answer later?、Uh, when I'm free,、uh, when I don't hurt so much,、uh, when brother so and so and sister so and so come and say sorry to me, ain't gonna happen. 就是说，你论你给上帝的答复是什么呢？是或者是等一下嘛，上帝，或者是你,你等谁来到向你道歉，你才再玩这个游戏呢 ？Amen. You know, there's an old term, an English term. 这有一个一个英文字是，这个很老的英文字。It says suck it up. 他说，就说拿起来吧。Suck it up. 是拿起来吧。You know what suck it up is? 你知道是什么吗 ？You crying and then your 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 beside, your your nose, but. Your 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 mucus coming in. He says, "Suck it up." 就好像你流鼻涕的时候，你把它就是说吸起来。Suck it up. 吸起来。Amen. Amen. So you are hurt. I so hurt. 你受，就说你受啊，创伤过。我也受创伤过。So you're tired. 你累吗 ？I so tired. 我也是累。Last night firecrackers, Tiba Valley. I cannot sleep. I said, Lord, please. Tomorrow I have to preach, Lord. I know. Enjoy, enjoy, but. Two o'clock already. Shut up, lah, somebody. <laughs> 就好像昨天晚上那个屠妖节，他们清楚一直在放这个鞭炮，一直放到两点钟早上。We all get hurt. Hello. 我们会受到伤害。This is a real life. 这个是真实的生命。But you cannot live your life being a commentator. Why like this? Why like that? Why they? How come they? Don't be a commentator. 我们不可以成，我们不可以以一个评论员的身份继续我们的生命。Have some skin in the game. 我们一起来分担一些的风险。Maybe some of you need to say, "God, heal me." 可能一些人说，上帝，你医治我吧。Lord, forgive me. 原谅我吧。Lord, strengthen me. 就说你加强力量给我。Give me more energy. 给我多一点的力量。I want to give my best. 我要把最好的给过你。I want to give my best. 我要把最好的给过你。I want to have skin in the game. 我要分享这个游戏里面的风险。As we sing this song, I want you to make a fresh dedication to God. 在我们唱这首歌的时候，你唱一次都要至少把你就是说奉献在上帝的面前。